<laughs> well, when I left school, I went to work in a in a factory, and we so there was lorry deliveries all the time there, and. I, my job was to work at the loading bay, and I'd have to, if a lorry driver came in, I'd have to give him a cup of tea. So I'd go off and get him one and give him to him. So then, yeah, we found out, and this was the time of the Yorkshire Ripper. And that, when he got caught, he turned this, out, this, were you in Leeds at the time? No, this was in Darling. In Darling. It was, I was working at Newton Aircliffe in a factory there, and we found out that I'd given him a cup of tea. Oh. <laughs> when he was working on. When he was driving his lorry, he used to drive his lorry in, I'd give him a cup of tea, and, you know, and, uh, and then, uh, later on, this is the, that, that's serial killer number one. It's <laughs> pretty good, pretty good, yeah. I, I mean, when I say pretty good, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Bit of a name drop. Famous, yeah. 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 Number Pick two, I was out. in, uh, <laughs> in Old Compton Street, with a mate of mine, in a bar, in a pub, and this bloke was just sitting at the other side of the bar, eyeing us up. And I said, look at that bloke, look at he's, he's like really staring us out, just giving us the eyeball. Then two weeks later, my mate said, look, on the front of the paper, that's that bloke who was staring at us in the pub, <gasps> Dennis Nielsen. <laughs> <laughs> so I was talking to my mate, not too long ago, who was the bloke who was in the pub, we, was get, we were getting eyed up by Dennis Nielsen. He said, yeah, but he said, do you not remember when we were hitchhiking back from Glastonbury and that weird couple picked us up in the car? Uh, <laughs> no. And I, was going, I was going, no. He's going, it was, I'm telling you, it was Fred and Rosemary West. <laughs>